Hey, this is Sean from the product team here at Soundcraft. You're watching our how-to video series for SI consoles. Today, we're gonna look at audio subgroups, but before we get into the nitty gritty, let's first talk about what a subgroup is. A subgroup basically just routes several channels of audio into one channel with one fader that then gets sent to the master bus. This is great when you're miking up a large drum kit with say 10 to 12 channels. With a subgroup, you can send all those channels onto one fader so that raising the whole drum kit level becomes super easy. Although there isn't an obvious subgroup section on an SI Expression console, we can easily create them using one of the 14 mix buses and the customizable fader layers. First thing we've got to do is pick a mix bus. If I want a stereo subgroup, I'll pick between 9 and 14. If I want a mono one, I can pick any of the 14 mix buses. I'm going to pick mix 12. I'm going to first tap the mix 12 one-touch easy mixing key and observe the green fader glow. This is indicating that this is a post-fade mix, which is what we want for a subgroup as altering the fader of the individual channels will change the levels in the subgroup mix. If it was a pre-fade mix bus and the faders were glowing yellow, I would set this to a post-fade in the outputs menu. Now I'm gonna turn up all of my desired channels into the subgroup by turning the faders up to Unity. If you wanna do this the fancy way, you can use the Alt-On button combination to turn the faders to Unity. Now that that's sorted, I can exit my mix bus and return to the main mix. But wait, now my drum input channels are being routed to the mix bus and the main left-right bus. To fix this, we need to unassign the channels from the main left-right bus, and then find the mix bus for the subgroup, and assign that to the main left-right bus. Now my input channels are coming from the mic pre, through the mix bus, and then from the mix master onwards to the main left-right, a perfect audio subgroup. Now if I want a stereo subgroup, I've got to select the mix master, tap outputs on the touchscreen, and set the bus width to stereo. This gives me a pan control for the bus contributions. Now for the final touch, let's chuck the mix master fader on the top surface for analog style subgroups. Thanks for watching this edition of the SI series how to videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or check back for more updates coming soon. Until next time.